Greetings, friends. Spheres HaOmer has the elevated feel of Yom Tov. And in fact, is considered a type of Holomo in linking Pesach and Shavuos. At the same time, it is a period of fear, stress, and danger. Terrible decrees fell upon Am Yisrael during this period, especially the catastrophic death of Rabbi Akiva's Talmudim, and much later, the Crusades and the Chalmaniki uprising in Eastern Europe. Thus, it is also a period of mourning, for which reason we do not celebrate Simchas during most of Sphira. It's not surprising that Sphira is a serious Takufa. During these seven weeks in biblical days, Am Yisrael, the Jewish people, traveled from Mitzrayim, ancient Egypt, to Har Sinai, Mount Sinai. It was our avoda at that time to rise from a slave mentality to a spiritual level at which we were capable of standing before Hashem and receiving His Torah. An event which would forever alter the entire world. This was an intensely difficult spiritual undertaking. No wonder it is a time of testing and tension. The tests were great. During those days, Am Yisrael was attacked by Amalek, and our ancestors were guilty of numerous rebellions, which put us in terrible danger and caused grief, if you could say so, to our Father in heaven and to Moshe Rabbeinu. These are the days referred to by David HaMelech, where he says, do not harm your heart, as at Meribah, as on the day of Masa in the wilderness, when your ancestors tested and tried me, they tested me, although they had seen my deed when I, when I freed Am Yisrael, the Jewish people, from slavery with earth-shaking miracles. For 40 years, I was angry with the generation. And I said, an errant hearted people are they, and they do not know my ways. This is Hashem speaking. Therefore, I have sworn in my wrath that they shall not enter my land of contentment. After leaving Mitzrayim, when we arrived at the Yamsuf, the Red Sea, the nation panicked with the Egyptian army behind it and the sea in front. Not only then, but many times our ancestors panicked over the course of their biblical journey through the Sinai Desert. That is why Moshe Rabbeinu had to say at the Yamsuf, quote, do not fear, stand fast, and see the salvation of Hashem that He will perform for you today. Now, in the year 5783, the period of Sephiris Omer continues true to its character as a time of both elevation and stress. It's easy to look down our noses at our ancestors, from our vantage point, we know that Hashem was watching over them and that Moshe Rabbeinu was leading them. It's easy to say, how could they have panicked? What was their problem? Frankly, I doubt very much that had we been there, we would have remained calm. God forbid we should be put to the test. But just how much faith in Hashem do we really have? Hmm. Just last week, I panicked about a personal issue that was purely theoretical. There were no Egyptians chasing after me, but I panicked. Where was my Amuna and Betachen? Here's a recent news item, quote, Israel's security establishment has stated that the nation is at the beginning of a new security era in which it faces the possibility of attacks from multiple arenas at the same time. We operated for years under the assumption that limited confrontations could be held, but this phenomenon is disappearing. 
Today there is a noticeable phenomenon of the coalescence of arenas. Doesn't this sound very much like the Yamsuf, where we were surrounded on all sides? Masse of Osim the events which our forefathers experienced are a sign for the future. We would do well to strengthen ourselves for the coming tests. Listen please to the words of this week's Haftarah. And quote, For behold, I shall shake the house of Israel among the nations as one shakes grain in a sieve, and no pebble shall fall to the ground. By the sword will all the sinners of my people die, those who say that evil will not approach and overtake us. I'm sorry to remind us of such frightening words, but it is astounding to see how the Navi defines the word sinners as those who say the evil will not come upon us. It is dangerous not to take our danger seriously. The Navi's advice will enable us to survive. We will realize that our only hope is to ensconce ourselves under the wings of the Torah. My friends, Spheris uh, Omer, is it time to take life seriously, recognizing with greater urgency each day that there's nothing in life but Hashem and His Torah. Ain od milvado. There's nothing else. The Haftarah continues, quote, Behold, days are coming, the words of Hashem, when I shall bring back the captivity of my people Israel, and they will rebuild desolate cities. They will return and plant vineyards and drink their wine. They will make gardens and eat their fruit. I shall replant them upon their land. They will not be uprooted again from upon their land that I had given them, says Hashem, your God. May we see it soon in our days. Good Shabbos.